హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ క్లాస్ వామ్ విషెస్ టు వన్ అండ్ ఆర్ ఐ థింక్ యూ హ్యావ్ వాచ్డ్ ఎంజాయిడ్ అండ్ గాట్ అన్ ఐడియా అబౌట్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో వీ హ్యావ్ లర్న్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో ద పోయం అండ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వర్బ్ అగ్రిమెంట్ లెట్స్ హ్యావ్ ఎ రీక్యాప్ బిఫోర్ వీ స్టార్ట్ అవర్ టుడే సెషన్ ద టైటిల్ ఆఫ్ ద పోయం ద లిటిల్ బాయ్ అండ్ ద ఓల్డ్ మ్యాన్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టోల్డ్ యూ టు కంప్లీట్ ద ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ గివెన్ బిలో ద పోయం ఇన్ యోర్ టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ now i am going to reveal the answers of those two exercises children here exercise b you have to write or you can add a few more words or phrases that describe old age as an example or specimen they have given in your textbook gray hair lack of teeth poor eyesight stupid posture means bent using a walking stick if you write any other phrases relevant to describing an old days is also correct xc pick out lines from the poem and rewrite them in the form of conversation you have to rewrite them in the form of conversation little boy sometimes i drop my spoon old man i do that too little boy i wet my pants old man i do that too little boy i often cry old man so do i taken from your poem only children subject verb agreement now i am going to announce the answers of these exercises 3/4 of the house was destroyed the quality of the pens was not good 10000 rupees is a good sum of money either nisha or her sisters is at fault the dancer and singer has arrived each of the boys was given an apple a large number of children were present at the function i think everyone have answered the questions correctly you might have filled the blanks correctly ignited minds was written by apj abdul kalam a knowledge of modern languages is essential one of the thieves was caught by the police every boy and every girl has to pass the entrance test the priest and the leader have come neither food nor water used to be found here rakesh as well as his friends has pa- has to pass the entrance test either of the two leaders is competent the shop with all its contents is insured many a man do not agree to his faults the united states has got a vast navy 10 tons of coal is loaded onto the truck time and tide waits for none xs2 22 years is a very long period of time which of these shirts is yours none of the prisoners was released on that day red beans and rice are my favorite dish Jessica or Christian is to be blamed for the accident neither of the two traffic lights is working the cashier and accountant has come some sugar is required for taste ninth one he runs 4 miles every day our mums caused by a virus syam and sundar walk to school together a collection of books is a great thing to have the cup as well as all the mugs has been broken a, go- a girl and a boy are planting a tree members of the town council elect the new governor the box of cookies smells delicious plenty of milk is required in summer
a pair of spectacles is kept on the table every one of the boys knows how to ride a herd of cattle was grazing in the meadow a herd of cattle collective noun children treated as one so we use singular form only was grazing in the meadow these we have learnt in our nouns chapter also you have to remember those all rules and regulations to answer these blanks correctly and i think you might have answered all the blanks correctly if any mistakes are there please correct correct them or else you follow the same mistake so today's topic is direct and indirect speech children this direct and indirect speech given in your material in your 7th class it will be there in your grammar and more also along with the material so introduction of direct and indirect speech will be there in this video and if you observe in our previous video while we are learning the lesson at the vegetable shop in that lesson textual exercises also we have learnt about direct and indirect speech there i have given you some guidelines and i have also told you advised you that in our forthcoming videos we will learn about direct and indirect speech as the exercise there in your material so today we are going to learn about direct and indirect speech definition the two ways of reporting what somebody says is through direct and indirect speech very important point children two ways of reporting means a telling or conveying somebody says is through direct and indirect speech there are two ways of reporting what are those two ways direct speech and indirect speech then what is the difference between direct and indirect speech by watching this video until the end you will get an idea and you will know the difference between direct speech and indirect speech and what is the difference between them also direct speech use the speaker's own words what did the speaker speak those own words those words as it is are used in direct speech put speech marks around the words spoken speech marks means quotation marks or inverted commas has to be kept or put above the words spoken by the speaker around the words spoken see here example also nikki said i am learning a new topic so speech marks or quotations or inverted commas are kept around the words spoken by the speaker nikki said what did the nikki tell i am learning a new topic so here you have to remember nikki said is a reporting verb i am learning a new topic is reported speech reporting verb and reported speech were separated by a comma that also has to be observed by you very carefully remember children nikki said reporting verb i am learning a new topic reported speech so we have learned the definition of direct speech now we are going to learn the definition of indirect speech do not use the exact words of the speaker no no do not use in indirect speech you should not use the exact words of the speaker some changes has to be made repetition of the exact words will not be there but the meaning or content or concept will be there in indirect speech while we change the direct speech into indirect speech that is the variation or difference between direct and indirect speech do not use speech marks or quotation marks or inverted commas in indirect speech for the words spoken by the speaker we will not use speech marks report what was said using the word that conjunction that if or to here they mentioned only that children sometimes that if also comes and the past form of the verb used by the speaker past form of the verb will be used these are the rules and regulations related to indirect speech if we go through two or three examples you will get an idea and it helps you to understand very easily nikki said that she was learning a new topic now you see previous slide once 
Nikki said, I am learning a new topic. Nikki said, reporting verb. I am learning a new topic. It is reported speech. Direct words spoken by the speaker or speaker's own words. What did they use there? Those are there in speech marks or quotation marks or inverted commas. Here, we will not use those. What inverted commas or quotation marks or speech marks. And here we add that comma is also not used in indirect speech. Nikki said that she was learning a new topic. What was she learning? Nikki said that she was learning a new topic so there it was there in reported speech is there in a present continuous tense and reporting verb is there in past tense while coming to indirect speech present continuous tense changes to present past continuous tense as the reporting verb is in past tense that's why she was learning a new topic here you should have an idea children Related to kinds of sentences and tenses, verb forms or conjugation. These all we have learnt in detailed manner in our previous videos. Those all you should be able to recall, recollect to answer this exercise in your material correctly. Kinds of sentences. Assertive or declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, exclamatory sentence. Tenses are of three kinds. Present tense, past tense, future tense. And again each tense is divided into four, four subdivisions are there. Simple present tense, simple, uh, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, present perfect continuous tense. In the same way, in past tense and future tense also. These all you should be able to remember. See here, learn. And as it is written in continuous form there, present continuous. Here we are also writing in past continuous there, am learning. Here was learning. Direct speech, also known as quoted speech. Go through the video very slowly, then you can understand. If you are able to understand the definition and the variation, what is the difference between direct and indirect speech, what kinds of rules and regulations they have followed, you can answer very easily. Because here, they have touched very little. Only introductory lines were given there. Only introductory sentences, simple sentences are used here to change them into indirect speech comparing to seventh class so you can answer very well if you have an idea about kinds of sentences tenses it is saying exactly what the person had said uses quotation marks indirect speech also known as reported speech it does not use quotation marks what the person said does not need to be word for word verb tenses change see here this has to be highlighted children verb tenses change the verb tenses do not change since we just copy what the person had said where in direct speech i am 12 years old she said i am 12 years old i am 12 years old she said as the words spoken by the speaker directly it was taken so verb tenses will not change tense will not change get out mrs spencer said get out Get out, Mrs. Spencer said. If you write in a vice versa way, reversely also it is correct only. It comes under direct speech. If you go through some of the questions in our previous textbook, in these two models they have given sentences in direct speech. Then I used to guide the children to write if they give, I am 12 years old, she said. If the question is like this, I used to guide the children, first write the question once again. She said, comma, Start the inverted commas, I am 12 years old, full stop and close the inverted commas. Then it helps you to write in indirect speech very easily. That's the reason I have mentioned this slide also children. If you come across such kind of questions, you will not have any sort of confusion. She said, we will have a vacation this summer. We will have a vacation this summer, she said. These are the rules and regulations given in your material that helps you a lot to change the 
sentences from direct speech to indirect speech as i have told you to you should have an idea about tense you see here simple present tense changes to simple past tense here they have given v1 v2 v3 also and how the helping verbs will be changed while changing into indirect speech if you go through this table very carefully then you will get an idea present continuous tense am is are plus verb plus ing form structure we have gone through these also children in tenses have to recall them also past continuous tense was were plus verb plus ing go through each point in a detailed way present perfect to past perfect present perfect continuous to past perfect continuous simple past tense to past perfect tense past continuous tense to past perfect continuous tense past perfect tense no change past perfect tense past perfect continuous tense no change shall will to should would can could may might in the same way pronouns and adverbs are changed in the following manner while transforming means changing sentences into indirect speech this that these those here there hence thence this we use in literature but for the sake of idea for the sake of getting an idea those words are also placed here now then ago before thus so today that day tonight that night tomorrow the next day next day the following day yesterday the previous day how pronounce changes i me to he she him her pronounce kinds of pronouns also we have learned children those also you should have an idea parts of speech we us to they them here adverbs tomorrow the next day the following day yesterday the day before the previous day follow these rules and regulations and answer all the questions they have given in the exercise in your material have a pleasant day